Hi, sweet listeners. This is Melissa. Yes, I post my favorite recipes on this channel. However, I learned a long time ago that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. It's not only important to nourish our physical body, but to nourish our spiritual body as well. So without further ado, Candlelights Aglow Bungalow presents Man Shall Not Live by Bread Alone Podcast. The title of this message is called Jesus, Our Healer. Have you ever gone through a period of time when you lost your faith? I have too. Let's talk about it. My dad raised me to believe in divine healing, and he had me reading Pastor Kenneth Hagen's books on healing when I was just a child. Whenever I didn't feel well, Dad would lay his hands upon my head and pray for the Lord to heal me. It always worked. and I always felt better. When I got a little bit older, I went to my dad one day because my neck was hurting and I asked him to pray. But this time he told me that I was going to pray for myself. And I laugh because <laughs> I remember thinking, I don't know if I can do this, but my dad said that he would agree in prayer with me. So I tried and I prayed. And when I was done, he asked me how I felt. Sure enough, the pain was gone. Now my dad experienced numerous healings in his life. However, when he was 69 years old, he went through a very serious health battle, but I had no doubt that he would be healed. So when he ended up passing away from this physical ailment, I went through a very difficult time not understanding why he wasn't healed. And the years after my dad died were filled with me asking God all sorts of questions. Why wasn't he healed? And not only that, but I lost all faith. My dad's favorite scripture was, by his stripes, we are healed. Let me read the full scripture in Isaiah 53, verse 5. This is the New King James Version. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement for our peace was upon him. And by his stripes, we are healed. I think that in life... We are not always going to understand everything that happens to us. We just won't. I've come to the understanding that even though things in life happen, like what happened to my dad, that I can't lose faith in God and in his word. I can't lose faith in God. You can't lose faith in God. I've also learned that it's okay to ask the Lord questions when we don't understand something. Now, it's not okay to be disrespectful to the Lord when we have questions, but I believe that God loves the conversations that we have with him when we are presenting to him all kinds of questions. His word says that when we draw near to him, he will draw near to us. We've all seen little children asking their parents, why? Why this mommy? Why this daddy? And all sorts of other questions. Now, parents, because they love their children, try to give an answer that will make sense to the child. My dad always tried his best to answer my questions when I was little and all the way through to my adulthood. If my dad, being imperfect, wanted to answer my questions and did answer my questions, how much more does a perfect father, our father God, want to answer the questions of his children. Sometimes parents have to say to their little one, you are too young to understand the answer now, but when you are a little bit older, you will understand the answer then. I think that in our journey of life, the Lord knows when and how he can get the answers to us and how he can get those answers to us in a season of our lives when we are not too little, so to speak, but when we have gained a little bit more spiritual maturity. I've seen in my own life that some of the questions that I have posed to the Lord 
were not answered by him until years and years later. I believe the reason for this is because that the Lord saw that I would be more spiritually mature years down the line. And because of that, I would be better able to handle and understand the answer that he provided in response to my question. Other times, the Lord has answered my questions right away. God did help me to understand my dad's health battle and his passing, but I only understood it years after it happened. I only understood God's answer to me regarding that years after it happened. And now in my life, I have peace about it. And my faith has been restored. My faith in divine healing has been restored. I'll tell you a story. About a year and a half ago, the dentist told me that I had five cavities and that two prior fillings had to be replaced. I decided that I wanted the Lord to heal my teeth and to supernaturally restore my fillings so that they would not need to be replaced. I stood on the word of God for a number of months and I took communion on a daily basis. I also thanked God for having healed me. When I went back to the dentist months later, the dentist, as well as the hygienist, confirmed that the cavities were gone and also that the fillings no longer had to be replaced. Praise God. He's so good and he's my very, very best friend. So friends, no matter what has happened in life, that may have dashed your faith, don't lose heart, but choose to keep believing God and choose to keep believing his word. Not everything in life will make sense, but if we have to believe something, let's believe God's word over a negative report because in God's word, there is power, healing, and life. Let me pray for you. Father, I come to you in the name of Jesus. If you are listening and you need healing in your body, I speak health and life over your body and command everything to line up with the word of God right now and to be healed and whole and restored in the name of Jesus. I pray that the Lord makes you aware of anything in your life that may be displeasing to him that you need to repent of so that he can fully restore every area of your life. I thank you, Father, that you are answering questions for my listening friends and in a way that they can understand and in your perfect timing. I pray peace over each of you, the peace of God, that God will comfort you daily and that you would sense his presence in your life. I pray this in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hit the like button and subscribe so that you never miss an episode. Check out my other videos. See you soon. Bye-bye.